Warning, the following video contains a small amount of shameless self-promotion. Warning, the following video contains a small amount of shameless self-promotion. I am going to do two things during the course of this video. One is talk about my Etsy, link below, and two is reorganise my bookshelf. Now that you know that, I can explain a bit more. So this bookshelf behind me is relatively new and I organised it like literally about a month ago and since then I've sort of bought some more books and they've sort of not fit. So I need to reorganise my bookshelf to make sure that it stays in lovely pretty colour order. But while I'm getting all my books out and making a mess, I'm going to talk about some of my favourite cover designs, which is linked into my Etsy, where I paint book covers on shoes. Which all started because I had a pair of turquoise shoes that were really cheap and I was going to just chuck them out because I didn't wear them a lot and I decided to paint the cover from the Fault in Our Stars onto them because I love the Fault in Our Stars. And I made a video when I did that and someone asked on the video was I selling them which I'm not selling these, I wear these but I had been really interested since doing that in the idea of doing other book covers because I really really love book covers just as a general rule but I didn't because I had no idea whether anyone would actually buy them I just secretly worked on designs instead so like I say it started out with the Fault in Our Stars which when the cover was released for this Nerdfy Terrier went a bit crazy there were loads of people who despite having never read the book really really disliked the cover and I couldn't understand why because I really really loved it again I suppose never having read the book at that point because it wasn't out yet but I just really really loved the simplicity of it and especially like the just the three different colours that are used and then obviously the yellow for the signed copy sticker which if you're interested there's my J scribble and I really like the new range of John Green covers that they've brought out since the Fall in Our Stars that kind of mirror that same simplistic style another series of covers that I really like for their simplicity are these Ray Bradbury covers Fahrenheit 451 is the only Ray Bradbury book that I've ever read but I love the book and the covers alone make me want to complete the whole set and I like the kind of cartoonish way that the fire's been drawn on this which is what I tried to do on my shoes but I ended up being a bit impatient so I didn't like let one colour dry before I put the next one on so it ended up looking like this instead which I actually really really like how it turned out but I'm quite interested in having another go and trying to get the more cartoonish style If you haven't picked up the theme on book covers that I love, it is simplicity. These are another series of books that I love. I have only actually read, I think, these two, which are the first two, and there are six, I'm pretty sure. And again, it's really, really simple, and I love the different colours for each, and I really love the coloured sort of pages, which I didn't have for this one because I bought it long before I bought the rest. And the covers of these are also a bit weird, like, they make nice noises when you scratch your nail along them. It's the small things amuse me. This is a book that I bought mostly for the cover. I, like, obviously I saw it and the cover caught my eye. And then the the bit on the back says, reading this book is like falling down a rabbit hole into an outlandish, sinister, mysterious, absurd, compulsive netherworld. So that as well kind of uh, persuaded me to buy it, but I have not yet read it. So all I can say is that I really love the rainbow on the cover. I've always loved rainbows since I was a kid. Like when you say draw something, I would draw a rainbow because I just loved colours. We've hit my DVD collection which I'm transferring to my wardrobe to make more room for books because priorities, I has them. The Harry Potter books are really awkward to go on my shelf because they've got the different colours and they don't fit anywhere. And I also kind of don't want to split them up because Harry Potter is my baby. But I do love the colours on the spines of these books and like I love the sort of checkerboard pattern that you get when you line them all up. Like I think that even if it's out of focus, just from the colours, anyone can make out the Harry Potter books, which I think is brilliant. Then there's this awkward gumball which doesn't even fit in my shelf like height wise. Which, it, uh, it's been lying down on a shelf down there but I think I'm going to have to transfer this to my wardrobe as well because then it'll stand up and then it leaves more room for books as in more books, other books, all the books this is a book that I picked up in America just again I was I saw the cover and I liked it and then liked the sound of the book and I have read this one and I really really loved the story and I thought that the ending was really unexpected 
or at least I didn't expect it. But it was a really good ending and I'm not going to spoil it. But I really like the sort of black and white and then the bright green contrast. And I do actually have a design for this cover for shoes, but I don't think it's a really well-known book. The writer is actually Norwegian and it's been translated to English, which is pretty cool. I think what I need at this point is another shelf for awkward books like Harry Potter and this beautiful copy of Sens Sensibility and Adventure Time comics. I think that's pretty much everything that I can do without wasting my time by filming things that I won't use. So check out my Etsy, link below, uh, and also the Tumblr that I made so that I can put designs up there and so that people can submit designs and things. So yeah, if you like, feel free to check that out. So that's it for now. I'm off to finish tidying up. TTFN. This series of books, again, I've only read the first one, but it seems really, really similar to the Gone series, so I think I like it. But I like the different colours, again, of this series. I have the third one somewhere that's blue, and the fourth one's green, but I haven't got that one yet. But Charlie Higson just announced on his Twitter the other day that they're changing the covers. And I really don't like it when authors do that. I understand that there's a reason behind it, but when I'm collecting a beautiful set of them, it's just really irritating. Ravensgate, which is the first one in the Power of Five series by Anthony Horowitz, which I have before and I've read them and it's really good. And then Oblivion came out like years later and it's really, really massive compared to the other ones. And I'm really looking forward to read it. But they've done it again and they've changed the covers. And the new covers are really pretty and I love them. But I can't justify buying four books that I already own just for the covers.